Yeah, yesterday was really, really exciting, but it was close but no cigar, basically. We were very fast. I was the fastest Chevrolet by quite a long way. And uh, we went into Q2, and unfortunately, a couple of things happened on the lap where I couldn't get it all together. I'm gutted we're not in Q3, but at the end of the day, we're still in a good spot with P7, which is fourth row um, on the grid for the start of this race. The circuit's just dried. It's a bit like Paul Ricard all over again. The circuit's just dried, and uh, hopefully we can get a good start and uh, get some good points. the guys they went to put the the clip on the bonnet and push it down to lock it but they didn't push the bonnet down hard enough so the pin never went through bit of a schoolboy error but you know we're only human i got a black and orange flag which means mechanical problem coming to the pit lane i noticed another problem with the car we have huge vibration through the steering wheel and it's not a, a tire flat spot it's something else through the geometry which i'm a little worried about this is still early days with the car it hasn't done much running it's a little bit temperamental at the moment and we, we, we need more testing. Um, gutted we didn't get any points. It's, it's, it was really hard work um, because uh, we found out that I had no front right damper at all. So I think to finish just on the bumper of the Citroen and my teammate with only three dampers is pretty damn good. Um, but these things, these things happen in most sport, but I don't expect it at this level, if I'm honest. First race, I had um, the bonnet go, and on the grid for the start of the second race, there was like no fluid left at all in my front right damper. Uh, it's just one of those weekends.